And my only fellow son. You can still live in your nose. <laughs>
click down below. You can find out more about it below. And also, if you're just a, a new singer and you want to kind of learn you know, the, the foundational tools for how to sing, that's all covered in my free course down below. Check that out. It's absolutely free. Four-week course takes you through a, a foundational level. So you, enough said with those. But lastly, if you do like the video, please hit like and subscribe and hit the bell, the notification bell. Ring that, please. Ring the bell. It ain't going to ring itself. If you click those, it does help the channel. Algorithms, all that, blah, blah, blah. Let's get on with it. James Labrie, this is uh, Pull Me Under. Arrows fly. Okay, so there is what I was talking about with holding the air back, okay? Like your, your, that compression. And that's what compression is. It's just really holding your air back like you're jumping underwater. Uh, uh, uh. Arrows fly. Arrows fly. And you hear at the end, I'm letting air out because when you're compressing, it just lets that release at the end of the line. You don't have to keep holding. Arrows fly. It also helps a, a soft kind of, like when you have a compressor, if you're used to being in a studio and a compressor, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's called a soft knee or whatever at the end. I don't know the term, but like, okay, so at the end, it just kind of, rolls off instead of cuts off like a you know like a noise get arrows fly that sounds horrible but if you go arrows fly I so it it loud it's just like colors that makes it nicer to listen to and it doesn't sound like you're just cutting it off so that's the example of the compression that he does let's move on and then fall again this world is spinning around me this world is spinning without me and every time so there you can hear he has that that cry sound this world is spinning there this world there so when I'm doing that, I'm kind of pushing through the nose. This world is... That nasal resonance is so important throughout all singing. That... This world is... This world is... So... Mm, pushing that through. Mm, 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 mm. This world is... He's letting a little bit of air out. This world is, is, okay, I'm accentu over accentuating that and not saying it correctly, but I'm, what I'm trying to get the point across is that there's that little cry. This world is spinning around me. I'm probably going off key there a little bit, but anyway. Um, so when you hold that compression in, you can still let a little bit of air in to get that that cry sound this world is spinning around me spinning around spin, spin. you hear that that's the cry sound this is like a yawn this world is spinning around me okay let's move on Sense, future to past Every breath Leaves me one last To my last Also James has that re Really enunciates Every breath leads me One last to my last Very open mouth Every breath leads me One last to my last very open mouth, uh, almost like, I remember one vocal coach told me with that kind of when we kind of open the, the soft palate and your mouth is like to have a, like you have a tennis ball in your mouth. Every breath leaves me one less to my last. So you're, that's uh, really good resin, not only pushing through, getting that nasal resonance, but also using your, your mouth, big Big mouth, big words to 
enunciate those words. So that's that's kind of in the style of James Labrie there. So what's the spell falling gives no meaning to it all. So there he's really ripping into it. A, bit, a, bit, a little bit of distortion is what's the spell of falling? What's the spell of falling? With that compression, you can ah, you can let a little bit of air through to get that that distortion as your now that distortion is coming from the false folds which are again are up just above your vocal cords vocal folds are right here and your false folds are up here so you can do a nice tight chord closure what's the spell of falling you, know? you, can, you could dial that false fold distortion in there but you want to have that clean, tight chord closure first. What's the spell of falling? What's the spell of falling? Give us a meaning. You can just add a little bit of distortion in there. What's the spell of falling? So, again, when you try that, uh, 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 what's the spell of falling? Really should help you to get that sort of uh that that sound that he uses that really tight chord closure compressed sound enunciate the words very well do a little bit of cry in there these are all james labrie techniques okay So let's also when, when okay so when I think about James Lebrie, I th I think of like a, a a bit of a whiny sound okay now that's not meant to be a criticism okay so chill the f out if you're a huge <laughs> James Lebrie Dream Theater fan I am too I love his voice but when I think about trying to sound like him when this I'm sounding does that mean it okay that helps me to think about how I'm going to approach it, you know? What's the spell of sounding? If you, if you kind of think of somebody whining, that whiny face. Anyway, okay. It's no meaning to a thousand. Get no meaning to a thousand. Okay, let's go back to that. And then my only fellow son. And then my only fellow son. So you can get that, hold the air back, think of kind of whiny, get that. And then my only fellow son. So with that compression, you can get that, that chest resonance from it. That's where that compression comes from. I could sing that in head voice to give you. And, and then my only fellow son. So that's without compression, with compression. And then my only fellow son. Hopefully you can hear the difference. With, with those chest and head and all those, it's more of a kind of a feeling. But I'm really feeling it in my chest because I am doing that technique of holding my breath like I'm going underwater. And then my only fellow son. Versus using the kind of just a head voice. And then my only fellow son. Okay, so that chest voice just gives it that extra power, okay? That chest resonance. Maybe it's resonating a little bit more. I can certainly feel it in there, but I can feel also that it's giving it power. Hopefully you can hear that there's more power with that that chesty sound, okay? So you can really, when you, you can belt, with that chest resonance, which which is what he's doing, he's kind of as belting in a, a a head voice sound, but that's with that chest. That's how you can belt with that sound and really get some good power in there. Okay, guys, so that's it. Hopefully, these tips have helped you to sing a bit a little more like James Labrie. Um, just remember, just to recap. Use that compression, okay? So he gets a really good belting sound because he uses that compression, like you're jumping underwater. Big deep breath, and then approach. Uh, uh, uh. 
Okay, and then really enunciate. Keep your mouth quite open, which will help you get a good, like, sort of warm resonance along with that kind of nasally resonance so it doesn't sound too piercing nasally, okay? Make sure your nasal pass, you're really pushing it through there. Keep that placement up at the front. Um, use some cry in there. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. That covers it. If I miss anything, um, you know, go back and watch the video again. So... Hopefully this video helped. If it did, remember to hit like and subscribe. They're free. They're not going to hit themselves. And also ding the bell so you can get notified of the next one of these that comes out. And you guys can put all of these things in your own toolbox and develop your own voice and learn how to rock your best vocals. Rock your best vocals where your best keeps getting better. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.